Meantime, shares of Tesla have come roaring back, now positive on the year. Has it earned its place back in the MAG-7? Our dear DeBose is digging into that for today's Tech Check. Morning, D. Hey, good morning, Carl. So the stakes are suddenly higher for its earnings when it reports later this month. Shares now positive on the year and up 80 percent from its 52-week low. Not much, though, has changed on the fundamentals. Q2 deliveries, of course, they were better than expected last week, but Tesla is still facing more competition than ever, which is still weighing on growth and profitability, making it look like the one that doesn't belong in this group of mega caps. Of the seven, it is the only one expected to see revenue growth shrink in the current quarter and earnings growth even more dire, expected to decrease 34 percent. Now, take a look at Apple. It has the second worst expected numbers this earnings season of this bucket. But notably, it's also seen a resurgence in share price over the last month. Second best performer after Tesla. Chalk it up to being seen as AI laggards. They are still show me stories. The narrative, though, is turning more positive. Apple shares have turned around since laying out Apple and Tesla. That's its AI strategy at WWDC a few weeks ago. Elon Musk, meanwhile, has been or continue to try to rally investors behind Tesla's AI and robotics bets. But he'll really need to lay out that strategy and NVIDIA's role in particular when it reports on July 23rd. The company has bought and deployed tens of thousands of NVIDIA GPUs over the last few years to build powerful AI infrastructure for Tesla and for its self-driving aims. Last month, though, Musk confirmed our own Laura Kolodny's reporting that he redirected a Tesla batch of those GPUs to X and XAI. That's two of his private companies. So if, as Musk claims, Tesla is fundamentally an AI company versus a car company, investors Investors are going to be looking for updates on how the AI strategy is progressing, and in particular, that GPU deployment. What's going to Tesla? What's going to some of the other companies? It's also notable, guys, we're one month away from the RoboTaxi event on August 8th, which Wedbush sees as, quote, laying the yellow brick road to full self-driving and an autonomous future. Certainly here in San Francisco, it feels like that race has new urgency. Waymo has now been open to everyone for more than a week, and it's been delivering tens of thousands of weekly trips already. Just recently, it has been reported that tech giants Dell and Supermicro are using 350,000 NVIDIA GPUs to collaborate together to build Elon Musk's new revolutionary Tesla supercomputer, a work of innovation that will absolutely help unlock massive AI potential for the startup company. Many call it a match made in heaven, and no wonder that it is. This news has grabbed the market's attention and left investors in a state of complete anticipation. This is especially true with NVIDIA stock investors, as an order of 350,000 GPUs is definitely amazing news for the company. But what is this all about, exactly? Let's find out in today's video. But first, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market. So click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now, back to today's video. A monster rally for shares of Tesla over the past month, enough to turn them positive on the year and make the case it's even earned its way back into the MAG-7. Deirdre Bosa taking a closer look at what's changed on the fundamental side of things. Deirdre, for today's Tech Check. Kelly, huge surge in stock price, but the fundamentals, they haven't changed much at all. In fact, revenue and earnings growth in the current quarter is expected well below the other six mega caps, even if it is back in the Magnificent Seven. Of the seven, Tesla is the only one expected to see revenue growth shrink in the current quarter and earnings growth even more dire here, expected to decrease 34 percent. But fundamentals, of course, they're rarely the driver of Tesla shares. It is momentum and the promise of technological breakthroughs that only Musk is capable of. And now that momentum seems to be back on Tesla's side, the stakes are high for the company to lay out its AI strategy and, in particular, NVIDIA's role when it reports on July 23rd. Now, the company has bought and deployed tens of thousands of NVIDIA GPUs over the last few years to build powerful AI infrastructure for Tesla. Last month, though, Musk confirmed our own Laura Kolodny's reporting that he redirected a Tesla batch of those GPUs to X and XAI, two of his private companies. So if, as Musk claims, Tesla is fundamentally an AI company versus a car company, he will no doubt make that case again on the earnings call. Investors 
Andrews, though, they're going to be looking for more, for updates on how the AI strategy is progressing and that GPU deployment. We're now one month away from the RoboTaxi event on August 8th, which Wed Bush sees as, quote, laying the yellow brick road to full self-driving and an autonomous future. And really, that's what separates the bears and bulls on this stock, Kelly and Tyler, is that the bears see it as a car company and the bulls see it as an AI company. But increasingly, Musk and co are going to have to show how it's an AI company and what they're doing with all those GPUs. But you think fundamentally there wasn't, you know, maybe it was... It was flows. You always think, um, you know, could have something to do even with the overhang from his big pay package or something, right? Something changed. Yeah. And you know what it was? It was last week's deliveries, right? That yeah. surprised on the upside, even though they're still declining. But again, it doesn't justify the kind of valuation with those kinds of growth numbers, right? Especially just when you compare them to some of the other mega caps. So it really is kind of still a show me story. But the stock going up like that has raised the stakes for those earnings in just a few weeks. Perhaps some anticipation as well for that August event where we'll maybe learn yes. more about these ambitions. A new chapter is unfolding for Tesla as the company is expanding its Gigafactory, which is located in Texas, to house a cutting-edge AI supercomputer cluster. This mega project, which will be complete in the very near future, will deploy 50,000 NVIDIA GPUs alongside Tesla's proprietary AI hardware and is expected to enhance Tesla's full self-driving technology. Elon Musk expects the Gigafactory supercomputer to use 130 megawatts of power at first and possibly increase to 500 megawatts in the future. And it's important to note that this is not Musk's first adventure in supercomputing, as he is already working on a parallel multi-billion AI supercomputer for his startup XAI. This new supercomputer, set to be one of the world's largest GPU-powered AI clusters with an initial order of 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs, will power the next version of Grok, the AI chatbot that's available for premium subscribers of X. According to the Dell chairman and CEO, Michael Dell, Dell and Supermicro will both provide the servers for the XAI supercomputer. On top of that, they have already planned on upgrading the system to 300,000 NVIDIA B200 GPUs by next summer which will ensure more advanced and efficient performance. These aren't the only collaborations that Musk secured, and this time it's for the good of the whole planet. But how is that? Let's find out. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Investocracy. Now, coming up, the latest auto sales reports from Tesla and General Motors showing that demand for electric vehicles might be back on the rise. Tesla's deliveries came in better than Wall Street anticipated. General Motors also seeing its EV deliveries increase by 40 percent compared to a year earlier. So let's discuss it with Stephanie valdez Streety. She's the director of Industry Insights at Cox Automotive. Stephanie, thanks so much for being here. I want to start on Tesla because... There's been this question, as you know, for many years about whether or not this is a stock that is going to move off of a story that the CEO tells or the business fundamentals. We're seeing it move off of these fundamentals. Is that indicative of a new era for Tesla? Yeah, I think Tesla is navigating the waves, right? They're between these growth waves. And I think in terms of for automotive sales, right, they haven't had any new products except for the Cybertruck, which is pretty low volume. And if we're looking at this Q2, um, as you reported globally in the U.S., we're probably anticipating a 15 percent decline in sales. They're still a dominant player. And as you know, they're really positioning on AI robotics. They're going to have their unveiling of the robotic robotaxi in August. So it'll be interesting to see how Wall Street reacts to that. And I'm interested, too, in the fact that you even bring up the AI and robotics piece for a name like Tesla. There have been some folks who've come on our show and said they want Tesla to really just dive deeper into owning that they are a car company and others saying, no, they need to hold on to the AI of it all. Which do you think is a more successful route for the company? Well, I think right now they need to focus on both, right? Because the AI robotics, it's there's a lot of challenges with it, with whether it's, uh, you know, like safety concerns, regulations, and they're still a dominant player in the EV marketplace. They just need to have some more product, right? And they had talked about having an affordable EV rollout, um, I think next year, but I'm not sure the timeline on that. And that's going to be key for them to keep focusing on their product. Um, but I think they're definitely prioritizing AI and robotics as well. Both of Musk's supercomputers will be cooled by Supermicro's solutions. As a result, Supermicro's CEO, Charles Liang, praised Musk openly on X for his decision to utilize their liquid solutions, adding that such a decision would be extremely beneficial to the environment as it would save 20 million trees. 
Musk chose Supermicro's liquid cooling technologies rather than the traditional cooling for a reason, as Supermicro offers a cost reduction that reaches a staggering 89% with their direct cooling solution. Supermicro's CEO, Charles Liang, aims to increase the adoption of direct liquid cooling in data centers from less than 1% to over 30% within a year. In fact, we can say that the implementation of such technology in Musk's cluster could serve as a catalyst for the general growth of this industry. And in conclusion, the adoption of liquid cooling technology in enormous AI data centers, such as Musk's, would save a lot of energy, eventually reducing carbon emissions. These environmental precautions contribute to the preservation of forests and trees as they help in the fight against climate change. This is, of course, great news for Supermicro stock investors. But let's get right into what this collaboration also means for NVIDIA stock and Tesla stock investors. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make. So if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. All right, let's check in on a few of the top analyst calls from today. NVIDIA shares higher on the back of two price target boosts. UBS raising its outlook from 120 to 150, citing demand momentum for the Blackwell chips, while Wolf Research also raising its price target to 150, calling it one of the best ideas in semis. So UBS, for its part, talks truly about demand momentum for Blackwell rack scale systems, says it's robust. Sentiment, yes, they say it's recently faded on the stock in the last few weeks, creating what they say is more a wall of worry that should be ultimately healthy if our stock, if our outlook materializes. And then separately, as we know, to Wolf, also raised their target to 150, talking about ASPs and improving mix driven by, by Blackwell. Now, I'm sort of blown away. Like, I'm, I don't know why I'm continually surprised by estimates for NVIDIA, but I still have the capacity <laughs> to be surprised, apparently. So the consensus calendar 2025 mm -hmm. earnings per share estimate for NVIDIA is $3.69, according to Bloomberg estimates. U UBS says no, mm -hmm. it could be closer to $5.00. Mm -hmm per share because of these channel checks that they're doing. Wolf puts the number around $4, but like $3.69 versus $5, that's a pretty big gap here. And the naysayers with NVIDIA have talked about this slowing growth trajectory all around. There's no way they could keep up this pace mm -hmm. of growth. UBS says, well, given what we're seeing, yeah. when we talk to people who are buying this stuff, there is still high demand. Now we'll see if that does end up being yeah. the case, but it's still, you know, it's just, it's still incredible. Has its capacity to say, "Wow, five dollars versus three sixty. Well, isn't isn't our friend our friend Corey Johnson a Futurum? Didn't we ask him? And he said, in his career, never seen anything like it. No. Never seen and, anything and, like Nvidia. You know, we we've thrown around the word unprecedented a lot under the after the past few years, but you know, mm -hmm. you still you, yeah. it still applies in in some cases. Let's start with Tesla. Many reports say that Musk has been prioritizing his supercomputers over Tesla itself. And this can be seen evident by Musk's decision to redirect many NVIDIA GPUs destined to Tesla to XAI instead. But what critics aren't telling you is that these supercomputers, which are expected to be completed in the next few months, will definitely change the industry of autonomous driving technology and natural language processing forever. And although Tesla's supercomputer is obviously aimed at advancing full self-driving technology, the XAI project is expected to be a key player in the future of Elon Musk's various ventures, as they are all dependent on artificial intelligence. For example, Tesla and XAI could collaborate, and we could have Grok as an AI-powered assistant in all Tesla vehicles. These technologies are what make Tesla stock a buy right now, even after the huge run-up. The company is in a state of non-stop innovation, and day by day, it is achieving constant progress. Moving on to NVIDIA, the company's revenues will definitely see a substantial increase thanks to the 350,000 GPUs order, especially because they'll be Blackwell GPUs. We don't really know how much the GPUs will cost, but we know that they'll be more expensive than the Hopper GPUs, which went for around $30,000. This boost in NVIDIA's revenue will help the company achieve better earnings, and this can be considered the company's next big catalyst. Keep in mind that money could continue flowing into AI. Experts predict that America's data center footprint could double by 2030. Lisa Su, CEO of rival company AMD, 
expects the AI chip market to grow to over $400 billion over the next few years. Better AI models may require increasingly better chips. CEO Jensen Huang has stated that NVIDIA is aiming for annual AI chip releases. Also, analysts believe continued AI chip demand will drive NVIDIA's earnings growth by an average of 38% annually for the next three to five years. The stock's forward PE is 48 today. That's a steep price tag, but it is one that NVIDIA could easily grow into if it performed up to analysts' expectations, which is why we think NVIDIA stock is a great buy right now. But what do you think about these stocks? Are they a buy at their current prices? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to tell us what your valuation for them is. If you would like to know what mega cap companies have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.